Biden's America has become a nation without borders as it has deliberately released millions of illegal aliens into the country. Among the many terrible consequences are the growing number of assaults on the men and women sworn to protect and serve our communities, far-left prosecutors releasing those same criminals back onto our streets, sanctuary city policies shielding criminal aliens from accountability, illegal aliens robbing hardworking Americans, the tragic murder of a 22-year-old Georgia nursing student. And now, again, we discuss another tragedy and a bill that bears another victim's name, Sarah's Law, named after 21-year-old Sarah Root. On January 31st, 2016, as Sarah drove home after a day of celebrating her college graduation, an illegal alien who was street racing while drunk slammed into Sarah's SUV, snapping Sarah's spine and fracturing her skull. Sarah died days later on February 4th. Within hours of her death, a judge set the illegal alien's bond at $50,000. The illegal alien posted bond and was released the next day. The alien who murdered Sarah then absconded and to this day remains at large. Even though the alien was charged with motor vehicle homicide, the Obama administration refused to lodge a detainer against Sarah Root's killer. In fact, despite a request by Omaha, Nebraska police to obtain an immigration detainer for the illegal alien, the agency declined. According to a news report, I said the agency declined the detainer, quote, because the illegal alien had not been convicted of a criminal charge and was, quote, not an enforcement priority. At a 2016 hearing before the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, then ICE Director Sarah Saldana further attempted to justify the decision not to detain the man. She said, quote, an individual from ICE looked at the specific facts and circumstances related to that matter. Uh, the individual had no criminal convictions, previous criminal convictions, and made a determination based on his judgment that he did not need to be detained, unquote. Well, eight years after Sarah Root's death, the Biden administration has not learned from the Obama administration's failures. We saw these consequences just last month with 22-year-old Georgia nursing student Lakin Riley, who was allegedly murdered by an illegal alien who the Biden administration paroled into this country in 2022 and who was previously arrested in New York City for endangering a child. Open borders Democrats never seem to learn and the American people continue to pay the price. To my Democratic colleagues, I ask how many more laws with names of victims attached to them do we need to pass before you will take this crisis seriously? How many American citizens must die at the hands of illegal aliens before we all agree that these tragedies are all preventable? Must the name of my child or your child be the one attached to the next HR number before Democrats can vote yes on these common sense bills? How much more blood must be shed before we can all join in calling for an absolute end to the Biden administration's reckless open borders policies that are threatening our safety, devastating our families, and destroying our country? Enough is enough. Sarah's law closes a glaring loophole in immigration law by mandating that immigration detention for certain aliens like Sarah Root's killer who are arrested for, charged with, admit to, or are convicted of any crime that resulted in someone's death or serious bodily injury. In doing so, H.R. 661 seeks to prevent avoidable tragedies caused by illegal aliens and ensures that dangerous criminal aliens are more quickly removed from the United States. This bill doesn't address the entire immigration crisis in this country, but it's a key part of such reforms. I urge my colleagues to support Sarah's law honor its namesake, and take seriously the problem of criminal aliens victimizing our citizens. And I yield back the balance of my time.